Hello. Hi. I'm really starstruck, I'm not going to lie. Don't be stupid. I swear to God. <laughs> I remember I met you very briefly. When? A few years ago, like at a festival. Was this um, wireless? Yes. Yes, I yeah, remember. Yeah, it was. I was wearing yeah. this really weird dress. Yeah. And like, I remember you walked in with the girls and me and my sister went, oh, what's that? <laughs> and all day that we were like, oh, so like just trying to hang around with them. Oh, I love that. <laughs> thank you so much for coming oh, to no, chat to me. Oh, no, thank you for chatting to me. So, first of all, I want to say congrats. Thank on this documentary you. i've seen it i've watched it i found i've got to admit i i found it quite difficult to watch yeah in that it was just so it was different to what i thought it was going to be we hear the word trolling all the time yeah we hear about people having a hard time mm -hmm. on online and you go oh that's oh that's not very nice isn't that awful and then to see what you actually went through mm. like, honestly i get a lump in my throat just talking oh. about it oh. like in the thing you're so in the documentary you, you're so yourself, when you're mm. talking about it, it's the genuine pain that you went through. You just see it so much in your face yeah. and how you talk about it. Um, and I think it's so brave. Thank you. It's so brave to come out and say all those, and talk about all those things that psychologically damaged you for yeah. a really long time. Yeah. Because um, I, I think as well, people are frightened to... to show just how much they were struggling yeah well at that's time. that's why i think i haven't spoken about it for such a long time because mm. for five years i was really suffering from depression and i didn't want to talk about it because i was like one i felt embarrassed and i felt ashamed and i thought two if i keep talking about this i'm never going to get away from mm. that mm. and i didn't want to be known as the fat ugly one from little mix and i thought if i keep talking about this is how is this ever going to go away and how am i ever going to feel happy again mm. um but what I didn't realise is by not talking about it, it actually made me worse. Yeah. And literally, since making this documentary, I already feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. You seem so happy. Yeah, Just well, like walking I... in a room, you're like this happy, beautiful person. Thank you. And like, it radiates off you. Chris even said it in the documentary, so you've got this aura. <laughs> and that's exactly what you have. Thank and you. I just can't imagine you... Like, and when I saw you so upset in that mm. documentary and just to see you now sitting here, it's like a different person. Yeah, it was weird because like for so long I was just pretending to be someone that I wasn't. Mm. I felt like because obviously we've got so many fans and they'd always write yeah. and be like, oh good, you're so confident and seeing you so confident helps me get get through yeah. things. And so I felt like I had to put on like this... The pressure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I felt like I kind of had to a put on like a, yeah, a brave face and pretend like I didn't care and mm. like it wasn't affecting me. When really, like, yeah, it, it was awful. But um, yeah, it, it was it was a weird like roller coaster of emotions yeah. making this documentary. What do you think? What, why now? Why did you decide to do it now? Because um, weirdly, I was watching a film in bed. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the film called I Feel Pretty. With... Oh yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. So there's a bit in the film where she um, is talking to that model, and she's like. God, I'd just love to know what it feels like to wake up every day and feel pretty. Mm. And, and it really resonated with me because that's how I used to feel with the girls. I'd like just, I'd just look at them when they're getting their makeup done. I just used to think, I just want to know what it feels like to be you. I just didn't know what it felt like to be happy. And I thought, I've overcome that now, but there must be so many women and, and girls yeah. that feel um, not good in themselves and, and, and are struggling with mental illness. And I thought, if I can, like, if I've overcome that, mm. I want people to know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel because for me, at that point, I really honestly felt like there wasn't. And if you'd have told me like four years ago that I'd be sat here now talking about it, feeling stronger than ever, I would have never have believed you. I remember you saying in the documentary, saying it's that feeling of just feeling constantly heartbroken. Yeah. That horrible, anyone only way that's to been heartbroken it, yeah. before knows yeah. how consuming it is mm. and how much you just don't want to exist yeah, that period of yeah, time. Yeah, literally. Is that how you felt? You yeah. simply just... I just, honestly, like, I'd wake up every day and just feel so miserable and sad and I didn't know how to make myself happy. I couldn't, I right. couldn't, I literally couldn't make myself happy. And the time, only time when you, it was meant to be your happiest. Yeah, time. and the only time that I would forget about it and feel normal was when I was asleep. And so oh, I'd just God. be like that, and that was when I was like, "What is the point in being oh, here?" Oh, I don't like you. It I makes know, but <laughs> you are just so wonderful. Thank and like, you. I, I think as for girls, it's especially it's especially yeah. bad. But I think what it, I, I was having this conversation with my sister earlier. What it highlights more than anything is how many people there are in the world that, that to say something that awful to mm -hmm. someone and that vicious. Yeah. You've, 
you've got to have problems of your own. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to have mental, mm -hmm. like, psychological problems of your yeah. own to be able to physically say that to somebody. Well, I think that as well. But yeah. back then, I didn't have that mindset. Yeah. I just felt like everyone hated me. But at the same time, like, I will, I do, still did used to see, like, I was, like, the butt of people's joke. And I used to see, like, people, like, having a joke with their friends. And I honestly don't think they thought I would see it. And this yeah. is this is why I wanted to make it as well because people sometimes think that they're having a laugh and and you're not going to see it. Yeah, and they think, oh, and, well, you're a famous pop yeah, star, exactly. you have everything, you nothing's going to yeah. bring you down. And people just don't even realise that, that one comment can yeah. completely change someone's life and completely change their their mental the way they think about themselves. Mm. And it doesn't just happen to people in the spotlight. Because like, obviously in the documentary, I meet a lot of young yeah. adults that have yeah. also gone through like yeah. horrific incidents, but like. Yeah, I just want people to know that, like, it's not okay. No. Like, I know that when we all sit in our own homes, like, we might watch telly and we'll say a passing comment, but to actually pick mm. up your phone and be like, I'm going to at that person and make sure they see it. Like, I just don't get that mentality. No. And people, they, well, it's the keyboard warrior thing as yeah. well. So they, think what, they think that if you're, they probably, you know, they wouldn't say something like that to mm. your face. There's something about being on a phone or Absolutely. on your computer or whatever. That yeah. You, it's it's almost like it's not affecting yeah. um, anybody. Yeah, it's it's absolutely awful. And I saw when you um, you went to that girl's house, the point mm. you made was it doesn't matter, even if you're not in the public mm -hmm. eye. This is what I always try and say to people: it, everybody is essentially under the spotlight yeah, at the moment. Absolutely. If you're on social media, yeah. you are putting yourself out there for criticism. Mm -hmm. And like yeah. that poor girl that you, so, you know, oh, went so to her sad. house. That oh my god, like that. Mm -hmm. really that got honestly me. was like one of the worst days of it it was it was horrendous yeah. and I've really thought that I was like mentally prepared to do yeah. it and I got there and I just wanted to break down into in tears and mm. I thought like her parents are so yeah. mentally strong and brave yeah. to be able to do that and it's not even been that long since she passed away mm. I just thought it was so incredible that they that they wanted to do it but like to raise awareness to, um, yeah, to see the impact absolutely that it has on families and everybody around you that love you yeah do you ever feel that this when you were kind of at your worst mm. do you you know after meeting parents who mm -hmm. were um, horrible in that position where yeah. their daughter actually took her own life. Yeah. Do you feel that when you were at your worst and you went through your own stuff mm -hmm. like that, do you feel a sense, you shouldn't feel guilty, but a sense of guilt to your, to your mum yeah, and like, absolutely. to everybody around you that yeah. love you, you know? But that's the thing with mental illness. When when you're yeah. when you feel that low like you're not thinking about no. other people you just want to take that pain away that's all you want to do mm. and so you're not even thinking about that at the time but this is why I think it's so important that that, that story is in the documentary to show other people like the effects that it is going to have on yeah. like the people that you leave behind mm -hmm. um but yeah I'm it's I'm just so happy that I've done it because I just feel like a sh like a, an awful experience this was for me if I can't make something positive out of yeah. this like then, then what did I go the, through it the for? The ending of it was just like what really got me when, you know, you put that picture up <laughs> of yourself. Yeah. I mean, I look, in, in the documentary, you said you it frustrates you when you look at that gorgeous girl who took her own life. When you look at those pictures of her with her friends, it frustrates mm. you because she didn't know how wonderful mm. and gorgeous she was. Mm. And I kind of, I sort of feel the same when I look at pictures of you, um, you know, and you, when you put that picture up and you yeah. said six months ago, I, I, I hated this girl. Mm -hmm. I look at that picture and look at a beautiful young girl, Thank you know, you. right at the the start of her life and her yeah. career and all the excitement. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way yeah. looking at that. And how was that for you, like uploading that picture and kind of, it was almost like you were setting her free. Yeah, it was free. It was literally like like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders because mm. honestly, like, I mean, I say it in the documentary, like, I, I literally had a fear of like, if I'd get into a relationship, like even with Chris, like when I first got with Chris, I was like, I was, if I'd if he'd get, I'd see he'd get tagged in like old pictures yeah. of me and I'd message the fans and be like, please, can you get oh, them to take them down? Because God. I honestly hated that version of me so much, but because of the way I was made to feel, because, mm. and that's what Liz, the therapist in, in the documentary, like made me realise is that like, I never hated her before. No. Like, and I, I, you were happy before. She, like, I was, that, that version of me got me to where I am today, but yeah. it's, it's just mad how like society expects you to look mm. and, um, I think it's sad, but I think what's great is that there are so many more artists that are coming out now that don't yeah. look 
stereotypically yeah. how a, sort of a pop star is supposed to look. Yeah. And I think it's so empowering to like women and, and every, everyone. This, this is what I try and do. I try and show that. I, but I love that. I love that yeah, about your show Instagram. The but it's amazing. Just, but that's amazing. Normal. But it's that's just, what people want to see. Absolutely. But that's what you know, people want to. Yeah. People want to yeah. see that. Like, yeah. not like it, it is. And, and I, sp I think it's so scary for like the younger generation growing up. Like when I'm like when we were growing up, we didn't, my, my phone just had snake on it. I know. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I didn't have. I didn't yeah. have yeah, Instagram, Facebook, all of this. So. So Imagine. I had a really happy childhood, mm. but for like kids now growing up, like that's all they know. They don't know no different. Yeah. I think that's really scary. Like, it's what is so... that doing to their, like, their mental health and and their confidence? Yeah. It's it's really scary. But yeah, I just think we need to talk How about old it. How were more. you when you won the X Factor? So I was nineteen, just turned twenty. Oh my God. Yeah. And it was like, I feel as well that you suffered it right at the peak of social media. Well, yeah, that when was when it was like just started yeah. to like get quite popular yeah. and, and was, uh, yeah, getting big. Do you think now, if if this was to happen, if you were to win the X Factor now, yeah. say, in, mm -hmm. in this, in 2019, yeah. do you think there'd be a difference in protection with trolling? Do you think the trolling would have been, been as bad? Do you think that trolling has got better has it got worse? What, what's your I wouldn't necessarily say that it's got better, but mm. I think because there's been more uh, awareness of yeah. it, I think it's kind of like made it not f made. It, I maybe wouldn't have felt so isolated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I now realise that it happens to so many people, yeah. not just in the spotlight. Mm. So maybe, but unfortunately, I don't actually think it's going to get better. Mm. But I just think that by us everyone make it like talking about it more and you know it's make, bullying isn't it yeah and absolutely and like teachers talking about really. it in schools now yeah. like they absolutely should be like yeah. because like I said like like kids don't know no different now so mm. they should be made aware of like what's going on and that that isn't okay yeah. um, just because it yeah just because it's on a phone yeah. and you're not physically saying it yeah to somebody, absolutely it's just as awful, yeah. but I just what used to really shock me and I think what used to affect me the most is when I would see that it was like grown men and grown women. Yes, because I, I always I could, say this. I could kind of like I know it sounds silly. I could kind of accept it more yeah. when it was like teenagers kids, and, and kids. Just being nasty. Yeah, but yeah, when it was yeah. like mums with kids, yeah. dads that, and I was just like, this is mad. It's and shocking, and, and isn't mentally, it? that's what made me be like, oh god, well everything they must be saying is true because it's only a, it only highlights them as mm -hmm. a person. It, yeah. it has to be. Honestly, I think the exact same thing. I've had middle aged men, middle aged women. Yeah. With kids, you go on their profiles because you become obsessed with mm -hmm. it, don't you? I've had horrible comments where yeah. I've gone on their profile. They've got daughters yeah, in their it's mad. pictures. It's crazy. It's absolutely bizarre. But then, what does that say? Is that saying that we've just lost control over? Like, there's no kind of there's, there's no, no boundaries. Barrier. Yeah, no, there's the, no boundaries. Yeah, literally. Which which is why I think that like like so social media platforms do have a a, a big responsibility yeah. to to start you know stopping that. Mm. And I know that more is being put into place, but I still just think there's a lot, there's a long way to go. Yeah. Um, how how do you kind of your day to day feeling of sort of the here and the now? How are you feeling now when you wake up in the morning? Oh God, now I'm like yeah. happy. Yeah. Like honestly, I sounds sounds bad, but I honestly didn't know what it felt like yeah. to be happy. And then obviously, like I got rid of Twitter. Like I I will never have it again because. For me, like that's what made me really bad. Um, quite, it must have been quite liberating just getting rid absolutely, of that. Absolutely, but yeah. I've struggled with it. It started really? like an addiction. Like I it found myself addiction. wanting to get it back again, and then yeah. I literally had to have people stop me, like take my phone yeah. away. Um, don't get me wrong, I still, I still get like horrible comments, but just, mm. but mentally, like I know how I feel about myself. Yeah. And that's that's the biggest thing that I've overcome, like feeling good in myself and yeah. feeling happy. But that's all because I got help and I spoke about You've got it. Got lovely people around. Yeah, you absolutely. As well. It's but so your important. Mom is so lovely. <laughs> Thank documentary. you. The first thing I wanted to see, because right from the beginning, you just you're rooting for you. I'm rooting oh, for you so much. You. And when I see that you come from a loving family, your gorgeous mum, thank you. Got a lovely you. boyfriend now. Says <laughs> lovely things about you. When you're walking along the that <laughs> promenade, and he's like golf ball eyes. <laughs> I was like, thanks, <laughs> bless him. But like, you can just see. There's, there's so much genuine mm -hmm. happiness there now, yeah. and I'm so happy for Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, Thank you. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Thank you so much. You're so much. talented. <laughs> Thank like, you. You've got talent running through your Literally. veins. It's just <laughs> Thank unbelievable. You. Um, Thank you yeah, so much. I'm just so happy for you. Thank you. Do you think you're going to watch the documentary? Have I mean, I've it seen it time? so many times because right, okay. I've been in the editing process. Was that hard watching it? Like, um, in the beginning? At the start, it was. Yeah. I played it to my mum for the first time the other day, oh. and she went and she we watched it in bed, and she was like, "Oh my god, is this really sad?" Yeah. And got really upset because, like, even though she knows what's happened, like, yeah, I think to actually watch it back and relive it again mm. was quite hard for her. But I do think people are going to be quite shocked. I don't know if people are expecting 
what it is actually yeah. going to be. Maybe you get to know you so yeah. much in it because I, I don't know you like, yeah. as a person, and I felt after watching it like I really knew you. Yeah, you know, it's it's all very well having a documentary and just saying, yeah, this is what I went through. It was really bad, but you sort of live and breathe every moment mm. of it as we're watching it. Well, I just felt it was so in, it was so important for me mm. to just be completely honest because. People like you have to. You, people need to know like how, yeah. how it makes someone feel and the extent that like it can it can make like someone feel. Mm. Um, so yeah, but I, I I'm really like I was scared about doing it at first, yeah, but bet. now I just I feel like liberated. I feel yeah. I feel so proud that I've done it. Do you how do, how would you feel now seeing a nasty comment now? Um, do you just deal with it in a different I just, way? I just I mean one I don't really look for them. Yeah. But two, I'm just like, I have a different mindset now. I'm like, exactly like what you said. Mm. For you to want to say something nasty, you must feel not very yeah. good in yourself to want to say that because why would you ever want to make someone feel that way mm. in themselves when you don't even know them? No. So, yeah, my mindset's completely different now. But, I mean, for other people who don't have that mindset, this is why I wanted to make it as well. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, they're, they're like, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I mean, it doesn't, it's not all about online trolling. Like, it's about mental illness yeah. as well. Yeah. And for people that don't feel like they, they're going to feel happy again or they're going to get better, mm. like, you can. You just need to talk to someone. Yeah, yeah. And you feel that, like, sort of going forward, what would, you, what would your advice be to somebody who was kind of going through the same thing? Yeah, just, you, just... Whether on, they're in the public eye Yeah, or just to have, like, speak to family, like, whoever you can, mm. like, speak to friends, loved ones, like, family, because keeping it in is the worst yeah. thing you can do. And yeah. I, I think there's, like, there's such a stigma that comes with, like, mental Definitely. illness. yeah. And people get embarrassed and, yeah. like, don't want to, like, say that they go to therapy yeah. or, like... Yeah. In America, no, it's, it's not, like an open... Everyone's, it's they go like, get the dry cleaning yeah. and they go to their therapist. But why shouldn't we Why shouldn't we talk about I our problems? Like, I say that all the time. Yeah, like, we absolutely should. If you've got tonsillitis, you get it sorted out. Exactly. If you've got something wrong with your brain, absolutely. sort it out. So if you're wrong in your mind, you're yeah. exactly. suffering. And there's nothing to be embarrassed yeah about no. um so yeah so that yeah that's an, obviously another reason why i wanted to do it yeah oh, you're so <laughs> thank you so much. You. i actually even though i've seen it i'm definitely gonna watch it again when's it on uh 12th of september, 12th of september. nine o'clock nice yeah oh, <laughs> thank you so much it was so lovely thank you and you are so beautiful you're one of the most beautiful girls i've ever oh, met in my shush. life Stop. i swear to god <laughs> oh, you've got chris you. is so right you've got this aura oh, you're so, you so talented much. thank you you're like you can dance you can sing. you you actually basically do have everything that little oh, girls no, dream of you do though <laughs> you. you do oh you're so lovely you do Christian. and thank you deserve you. all of that happiness thank you and so i hope much. that you can now live a life just being happy and yeah. knowing that you are all those things. Thank you. And if anybody says anything nasty about you, number one, I will find them. <laughs> Chris I will has already kill them. Done. Good. <laughs> and as, just, just, just know, just try and think of all the good things that yeah, everybody says absolutely. about you. You've got so many fans. You've yeah. got people who love you. Like, it, it, just listen to what they say. Oh, it's yeah. so easy for me to say that, but yeah, you know, no, I've kind of experienced similar things. Yeah. You know, and this is why I wanted to do this because. I, I, I constantly, yeah, it really yeah. does. Like, mm -hmm. I, and it was the same thing. I was seeing comments when I was very young and I started the Inbetweeners. Mm. I was 17 and I'd never had a problem with my weight. I thought I was gorgeous, actually. You are gorgeous. I thought, no, but I so thought when I was younger, I was, I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm great. And then I, was, I saw myself on telly and I saw, but this was before social media it was like mm. a huge thing. But I, I'd sort of go to seek the comments that yeah. people were writing on. Um, chat rooms and mm. things and people were talking about my weight and things like that and I thought oh my god I oh I'm fat every mm. people are calling me fat that must mean I, I'm I'm fat yeah and it's it like you say you didn't have a problem mm -hmm. with who you were before so we have to try and think of that absolutely you know it's just because a load of nasty yeah and it's a load of nasty people who obviously have terrible things that they mm -hmm. think about themselves yeah. and they have to inflict it on yeah, us absolutely and yeah you're amazing, you're amazing. <laughs>